Now, now, ad experts yeah. say owners must get consent to touch their feline friend from the cat itself. Mm -hmm. Their advice is that we shouldn't try to pick up a moggy unless the animal makes it clear it wants to be held. Uh, Polly on Twitter says, I've just asked my kitty if I can stroke her. She's still waiting for a reply. <laughs> uh, they insist that uh, your, if your cat is displaying signs, it's angry. You shouldn't stroke it. Uh, if a cat is on the grumpy side, then he may uh, be trying to warn you and will have dilated pupils where they could put their ears back uh, or to the side and might even lower their body when you try to touch them. But if they're happy, experts say they'll have a playful tail, keep eye contact with slow, gentle blinks and might even approach you for a cuddly rub. Uh, this is their way of showing you that uh, you have permission to pet them. Uh, right, so do we really need to get consent from a cat uh, in order to stroke it? Mark Andre runs younger, runs the UK's biggest cat blog, and he says if you want to pet your cat, they have to give you consent. Meanwhile, cat lover Anne Widdicombe says getting a pet <laughs> permission <laughs> to touch it is a load of old cobblers. They both join us now. Now, Mark, many, many people on Twitter are saying, look, cats, uh, have uh, are our masters and dogs uh, you know we are servants to cats uh, and dogs have owners that is it isn't it cats are slightly above us all aren't they and they know it correct that's that's why I think that really we need to get the buy-in of the cat to be stroked and picked up because the way they look at us is we are their servants and not the other way around so, but surely the case of how that you buy, you know, the kids want a little kitten, and go, oh, that's lovely, that's lovely, or you can cuddle it whenever you're feeling sad. Is there, we use our pets, don't we, to make us feel a bit better. If we're feeling a bit lonely or sad, or when we come home and it's an empty house, and we like to have a little little creature who's happy to see us. What's, what, what, why do we need to give in to the cat's nature in that way? Now, the, the thing is, with cats, when they have little ones, they start learning how we interact with them and, and what they like and what they don't like. So if, if we keep forcing um, on them what we think is right, they might actually start developing a dislike for being picked up, a dislike for being cuddled. There's if you approach them in a way that like you come up and put the back of your hand out, show them that it's safe to be with you, they will learn that coming to us is something nice that they'll enjoy and always come back to. Well, and you were shaking your head there, but it's fair enough, isn't it? We shouldn't force the cat to do what it doesn't want to do. Well, first of all, you can't force a cat to do what it doesn't want to do. If you try and pick up a cat that doesn't want to be picked up, it will let you know. It will wriggle out of your arms. If you plonk it on your lap and it doesn't want to stay there, it'll jump off. It really isn't a high-flown cat psychiatry uh, to work out if the cat doesn't really want to be picked up or not. Uh, and uh, some cats love it, some cats don't, some cats vary. Everybody knows what their own cat likes and when they like it. Uh, if they don't, they shouldn't own the cat. What are you? have had cats your whole life, haven't you? I'm not a cat person in any way. And I always find that if I go to someone's house and they've got a cat and I absolutely ignore the cat, the cat will always come and find me. And I don't understand. And my son, who wants to cuddle the cat, he can't get a hold of it, they'll run away. They're so peculiar. Can you persuade me why I should potentially like cats if, and I really don't like them? I'm a dog person. The cats are absolutely wonderful. They're all furry and furry. Uh, and of course, they're independent. And uh, you can leave a cat for a day and it will be perfectly happy as long as you feed it when you come in. Uh, a cat, quite cheerful, will make it, it its own happiness all day long. Uh, dog, Dog wants you all the time. Dogs are very, very dependent creatures. Um, uh, and a dog will do what you tell it. But, you know, the old adage is true. Dogs have owners, cats have staff. <laughs> and, uh, Mark, Mark, there'll be people watching this, uh, lots of people who have cats. And they'll have done what Anna's done, which is they'll pick the cat up and if the cat just walks away, they'll let it walk away. Uh, they'll be a bit confused by what you say they'll completely disagree with you. The idea of a consent for a cat just sounds ridiculous to them. Well, the, the thing is, it, the cat can learn as well what, you know, what, what we show them and what we do. And obviously, if we learn to read their body language, it'll help us understand at what point they do want to be picked up and at what point they do want to be patted. 
So it's all about for reading your cat's body language to build the bond between yourself and your cat. Have you asked for consent with that cat that's on your lap there? <laughs> yeah, he he lived, put my hand down, waved him up to me, and he came up. So right now he's all cute and cuddly and relaxed, but I think he's a little bit distracted by the camera right now. Yes. There's another one behind you. Is that asking for consent? I can see he's walking behind you. That That's not consent, I guess, isn't it? Because he's just walked past you and gone away. The one on your no, left he's ear. literally just walking around and looking. Um, and right, we're just. I like to have a pet that then it Can't quite when you want to cuddle a cat and you want you want to feel a bit better. What's the point of having a cat if then when you're feeling a bit down, you think, oh, I just want to have a little bit of a, just want to watch a bit of telly and have a little cuddle with my cat, and the cat's like, I'm not bothered. Do you not feel a bit let down? Well, you might as well say, what's the point uh, of having a friend or what's the point of having a husband? There will be from time to time when you want to do one thing, they don't want to do it. Uh, and you know, it's just the same uh, with having an app. Uh, for goodness sake, this is all about common sense. You don't need a cat to sign forms in triplicate for you to be able to pick it up and say you've got consent. I mean, you know, what sort of world are we actually living in? Cat owners will read their cats. Uh, they don't need teaching how to do it. Uh, Sarah Hallett says, I'd lose a finger if I randomly seized one of them for a cuddle. Feisty beasts. Cuddles are very much on their terms. This is why I'm a dog person. Sarah, I'm with you. Thank you to Mark and thank you to Anne for joining us. For all cat discussions, do join us on GNB at regular occurrences. <laughs>